Hello, my friends. Welcome to the weekly ETF report. This is Doug Fabian. Today is Thursday, March 26th, 2015. Thank you for joining me today. Each week, we try to give you some advice that you can use in managing your personal finances and using exchange traded funds. Three things I'm going to talk about today. And let's begin with this anxiety that is um, kind of a working its way all over the financial markets here. That anxiety is showing up in a lot of volatility. Yesterday, we had a very big down day in the financial markets, and it brought the S&P 500 back to the zero level for the year. So let me talk about what's bothering the global financial markets right now. Let's begin with the geopolitical situation. We haven't had any kind of big geopolitical flare-ups in quite some time, but there is some worry about the Middle East, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, uh, and this has called, caused oil prices to spike quite a bit in the last couple of days, about 5-7%, and so that is kind of in play. Uh, second, we have this anxiety in the U.S. market about earnings, and earnings season begins April 7th, when Alcoa reports its earnings, it's the first company in the United States that always reports its quarterly earnings, and then all the other companies uh, will be reporting. And there's worries that earnings are not going to be that good, that earnings are actually going to be less than they were for the last quarter. Why? Because the economy slowed down a bit, number of reasons, weather and the West Coast port strike. Uh, and then we also have this worry about a stronger U.S. dollar. And then internationally, there's worry about Europe. Now, Europe is about a third of the global economy. And the worry in Europe is, will QE work? Europe has embarked on a big experiment, expanded quantitative easing, something that did work here in the United States. And there's worries, will it work? in the European Union, because the European Union is very different from the United States economy, uh, and there's that anxiety as well. Now, that's what's going on, and that's why markets are so volatile around the world right now. Let's look at the scoreboard year to date. I mentioned the S&P 500, now flat year to date. Emerging markets, flat year to date. The big winner so far this year in equities has been international markets, Japan and Europe. Uh, the combined international markets of developed countries are up 6% so far this year. So international is working better than the United States. Bonds, U.S. bonds, performing well so far this year. Depending upon duration, you're up about 2% in bond land. Better than stocks, certainly. Uh, we have gold up 2%. We have oil down 12%. Uh, and then the U.S. dollar is up 8% so far this year. So that gives you a little snapshot of the scorecard so far this year. Now, I want to mention as I'm closing out uh, uh, this discussion about the scoreboard, here's a chart of the S&P 500. As I mentioned, it's gone nowhere so far this year, quite volatile. Uh, but now we're approaching the end of the first quarter. 25% of the year will be in the books. And so... The question is going to be, where is your money? And over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be addressing the final score for the first quarter, and I'm going to be talking about investment opportunities as we go through the next quarter of the year. So, of course, tune in each week right here and also listen to my weekly podcast, ETF Success with Doug Fabian. That's at ETFU.com. Lastly, I wanted to share with you an ETF I talked about last month, but I'm going to talk about it again because I think it's a good investing idea for your portfolio, especially for your conservative money. The exchange traded fund is TOTL. This is the new ETF, the, the tactical total return exchange traded fund being managed by Double Line and being distributed by State Street Bank. I went to a roadshow on uh, Tuesday evening here in Southern California, uh, and the one of the portfolio managers was there discussing TOTL, its objectives, what it's, what it's doing, how it's different from the mutual fund. I still believe it's a very good investing idea. The yield on the fund is targeted to be 3.5% annually. 
I say targeted because it's a brand new ETF and doesn't have a uh, lengthy distribution track record yet, but I think that they're going to get to that 3.5% range. Its purpose is to be a fixed income position in your portfolio. So I want you to check out TOTL in more detail because I think it makes sense for many investing portfolios and it's a lower risk, non-equity investment position. It is bonds, but it has a very low duration, less than five years. So uh, it's not gonna have a lot of interest rate risk. I wanna mention uh, ETF success one more time because this uh, week I'm gonna be talking about Jack Bogle. Jack Bogle is the founder of Vanguard. He is the pioneer of index investing. And he's been out last week just bagging on ETFs. Why is Jack Bogle so angry about exchange traded funds? Vanguard has got one of the largest staples of exchange traded funds in the business. But Jack Bogle hates ETFs. And I'm going to tell you why on ETF success with Doug Fabian this week. Thanks so much for tuning in.